you know, I really like to see this because it means basically developers are starting to put in crowd sourcing um, uh, intelligent control. So, you know, one trick of crowdsourcing is basically copy pasting and sending to many people and the idea is of crowdsourcing and remember my phrase one man's spam is another man's crowdsourcing or one man's crowdsourcing is another man's spam my goal is simple to try to ID people that have a common interest in me without spending a lot of time that is crowdsourcing networking is when you go hey Bob how are you and hey how are the kids and you know do you know someone who knows or likes this I mean that is classic networking they're two very different animals and for the longest time basically they've been confused as the same thing um, now certain sites like Facebook LinkedIn uh, they use uh, negative reinforcement. They uh, basically block your account. They suspend your account. They, you know, they do negative, which is which is dumb. It is not the way you want to do business. Positive. So here's Twitter, and I want to put kudos out to Twitter. Whoops, you've already said that. Please post a new. Now this was not in effect last night. Okay, this is brand new. Um. So I don't know if it's brand new because someone's reported me as a spammer. Which, remember, one man's crowdsourcing is another man's spam. If you're not interested in what I have to say, it is spam. If you are interested, then it is crowdsourcing. Now, the platform that I want to build, Found Up Small, will handle this very differently than all these guys, what they're doing. But this is kind of cool. I like to see this. So... Basically, let me see if I can tweet it now if I wait. Is it going to let me or is it going to give it that? It's going to sit. All right. So you got to change it up a little bit. It's, it's actually thinking here. Um, so um, a little, I'm going to show you a little, little trick here. All right. So what you want to do, you can actually customize. You'll see here that I've actually customized. And again, if you have Bitly, as long as you saved it, you can customize it. So what you can do is, you know, when you're on, let's see if I can get to the right page here, all right? If I do a tweet, all right, there's my tweet. Um, and I don't understand because this says all the same thing here, right? So I'm actually grabbing this part and I'm running out of time. Um, so you've got to... You know, you've got to play, you know, play the game. This is part of the game. Ah, my lag is killing me here. Come on. Come on. Sorry about this. So, uh, let me close this and open this again. Where's my tweet? Come on. I'm lagging. So, what I wanted to show you, um, well, my main thing of this video was to put kudos to Twitter. But... The opportunity here, all right, let me finish with this, is that you want to, you know, you can have two, I have two screens up. So one screen could be Hootsuite, and then ultimately you could be open up, opening up anyone's Twitter and posting your Twitter from Empire Avenue. That's a hack. So basically, it's going to count me as Twittering from in Empire Avenue when in fact I'm just using their platform, right? They're not intelligent enough. The platform is intelligent to know that I'm actually not sending. They're just they're just recognizing this Twitter, right? So, you know, I could change this Twitter to anyone that I want, you know, that I want to. Um, but copy paste, thanks for, you know, thanks for your investment. Whoa, 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 I just screwed up again. Ah. <laughs> All right, it's a bad morning here. But you get the idea. So, my hack for Empire Avenue is think of Empire Avenue as your Twitter platform, okay? If you have two monitors, it makes it easier, and just send all your Twitter out from Empire Avenue. That's my hack for today. Okay? Thanks. And kudos to Twitter for actually putting in some crowdsourcing controls. Love you guys. That's great to see.